Hello and welcome, my name is Sanya and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I am participating in organization and DIY and decor challenge hosted by Christina from the DIY Mommy. If you are not following Christina, you should because her channel is full of great ideas from DIYs to cooking and, and decor. I will have her channel linked down below as well as the playlist for this challenge so make sure you check out both her her channel and the playlist because there's going to be tons of great ideas for you uh, i have decided for this challenge to redo my small laundry room um, i have decorated it somewhat a couple years ago but wanted to make it more inviting and functional my total makeover came in under twenty dollars and i couldn't be more happier i have um shopped my home I thrifted items and I've got some stuff at the dollar store and Ikea the DIY that I made uh, for this was fairly simple and I absolutely loved the way it turned out it was exactly what I was looking for um, I'm showing you how I did it I do have a Cricut machine but I have one of those old ones that you have to buy cartridges for so I decided to just take my time and hand write stuff that I wanted to put on instead of actually using it a stencil. So for this project I would like to make a sign. Um, my favorite one on that I found on Pinterest is this one. I don't know if you can see it very well. So I am going to try and replicate that. I'm not sure what, which pen I'm going to use quite yet. Um, so I have the water base paint pen by Sharpie. This is the Craft Decor Chalk Writer. And then I have a metallic marker in white. But I know before I do anything, I'm going to trace it out with my white, um, white pencil. So I have this board just to kind of keep things straight. Pretty sure if you have a Cricut, this would be a lot easier project. I think I'm gonna go with the cra uh, the chalk writer to go over it. hopefully in a fairly straight line. I am going to use a exacto knife instead. And it's all done. I love the way it turned out. I'm also going to make two more. Not sure that I'll use them, but since I have a piece left over, 
Miles does might might as well use that. This one will be fairly simple. So dry. And here I'm going to say wash. <laughs> And wash and this cost me total of a dollar the first thing that I did is cleared everything out so I had a clean slate to work with Next thing I wanted to fix this drying rack. I got this drying rack a while ago at Ikea and um, the rope kept breaking on me so I needed to refix it and reattach it. Then I wiped everything down. Then I rearranged some stuff in the cabinets, in the cupboards. Uh, they were fairly organized so there wasn't a lot that needed to be done. I debated of um, changing out the containers and going and getting ones that are the same color but uh, really didn't see the point of spending money when this was working. Now I was ready to add the decorating touches. I had picked up these baskets at a thrift store for $4.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal and I was lucky enough to find two. I found this tray in my decor stash in the basement that I used for some other stuff before and now it was just sitting so I thought it was a good place to use it in here as well as this vase and this greenery, the lilies. I had them in my uh, greenery box. Next I was trying to decide where to put the signs that I, I made and I also wanted to hang this um, hanging wall organization thingy from Ikea. I will have things uh, linked down below. I have bought this uh, system from Ikea a long time ago and I'm going to try and find, uh, find it and link it down below so you see what I used.
attach this little hanging shelf I had to use a drill and a screw gun as well as an anchor set because there was no um, wood behind the drywall where I was attaching it in that span. I also, You also will need a level just to make sure that your shelf is straight. have this little thing um, to for all the change that I find in the pockets of the uh, pants and jackets um, that I made for a different challenge I will link that challenge in this in a corner here so you can check it out if you want um, I just think it's a cute little piece of decoration to use um, in the a useful decoration to use in a laundry room and I did the same thing I used a drill and a screw gun and an anchor set to attach it to the wall so I'm all finished up and I just want to give you a little tour I'm really happy with the way everything looks it is a very small room as you can see and there's really not a lot that I can do but we spend so much time doing laundry why not make it pretty and very functional so I'm gonna start over here so I have we have this sink we picked this sink up at Home Depot it was just a builders grade sink when we first moved in now it's a little bit nicer and underneath I just have a garbage can for all the lint and then up here we already replaced the faucet this is not the original faucet that came with the sink that one wasn't very good and it fell apart not with even not within a I think within the first year so over here I just um, added some baskets I have some homemade soaps for stain removal and I brush and then uh, the sign which you saw how I made and then um, over here I just really want to show you this this is a new purchase And it is a space saving contoured laundry basket and it pops up. I picked this up at Costco just like last week. I think it was $15 or $14 and it fits right in here because I don't have a lot of room and I like to have a basket for when I'm folding stuff for so I'm able to take it to my kids room or downstairs or whatever. So. I like the fact that it folds up, folds up and collapses and can just fit right in between. So the current machines that I'm using are the LG uh, washing machine and then this is brand new. We bought the Whirlpool. It was like the cheapest dryer we could find because I dry most of my clothes up here and on the drying rack but I just needed it for like towels and socks and underwear the rest of the stuff I pretty much dry air dry so then moving on here I had as you saw picked these baskets up at a thrift store and uh, I was lucky enough to find two that matched and the price was right so the wash and dry signs that I made and then I thought I'd make it a little bit pretty with some greenery and I also um, saw someone put a, a diffuser in a laundry room with some fresh, scent, fresh essential 
smelling oils and I thought what a great idea I love fresh clean smell and this would be a perfect place for that then over here I have keep the change I made that for one of my uh, DIYs up it's up on YouTube I can leave a link up in a corner for that if you want to see it and then over here I keep it fairly organized most of the time um, but that empty spot that's where my cleaning caddy goes so those are my big vacuum cleaner attachments and then this is my stick vacuum which is over here charging so that's what the things in there then this is for my steam mop the extra um, steam mop thingies my ironing board and the little ironing ironing uh, uh, my iron and then the little thing you fill up the iron with and then I use this one for all my workout clothes and then this one the free for uh, free and gentle is for my facial wipes and my undergarments and kitchen uh, rags as well I don't wash any of that together they get all washed separately but that's what that soap is for and then I do have fabric softener sheets um, because I like to um, put them in as liners in my um, drawers in my bedroom I don't actually use them in my dryer I use the dryer balls and then over here we have some winter care detergent just some scented crystals my oxyclean extra light bulbs resolve stain remover then I also have the downy unstoppables which I like to use on my curtains when I wash them because it makes the whole house smell fresh and clean and then I use Brazil laundry detergent and then this downy I only use downy on the towels and that's it so a little organization just to show you what it looks like so I want to thank Christina for hosting this challenge yet again I enjoyed participating in it and make sure you check her channel out and the playlist down below it will all be linked up in my description box and if this is your first time stopping by my channel I would love for you to stick around subscribe press the notification bell I do organization DIY cooking and cleaning videos um, and I post five times a week so I'm sure there's going to be something that might interest you and until next time I would like to thank everybody for continuous support and hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching.